Cinema King coming back at you, and this time around we're talking Terrifier. As we all know, I've talked about horror movies on the channel before. I absolutely love horror movies, and I've been hearing from a number of sources over the years that you need to check out Terrifier. Art the Clown is absolutely terrifying, and I finally watched Terrifier the other day, and I'm planning on watching Terrifier 2 at some point soon. The... <laughs> The thing is, is I saw where someone said that Art the Clown is going to become the next horror icon, and I, while I can see that coming because the character is in fact very terrifying, there were moments of this first film that were just quite frankly dull and, and, and unentertaining. There were also moments of this first film that felt like the gore was there just to be grotesque. And here's the thing, I can take or leave gore. I've seen the Saw movies and, you know, gore has never really bothered me because I know how it's done. It's either done in a computer or it's done with, you know, prosthetics. And, and you know, because I know, you know, quote unquote, as Kevin Smith likes to say, how the sausage is made, I have a tendency to be able to look the other way when it comes to gore. However, when gore is just there to be gory, it's, you know, not entertaining. At least, not as much as it used to be, especially when it's over the top like it is in this movie. And, you know, it's not a bad movie per se. I give it three out of five stars. It's just dull in places, and while Art the Clown definitely works as a villain, Sometimes the gore is just over the top and too much. My opinion, if you've got a different one, I'd love to hear what you got to say in the comments below. Terrifier is probably something that I can see eventually catching on and you know, if the franchise continues, definitely Art the Clown will be included amongst the likes of Freddy, Jason, Michael, but right now he's just kind of in a pocket universe of his own because from what I understand, Terrifier and Terrifier 2 both got released unrated and when they were shown in theaters they were shown late at night and only at like special screenings. So you know that's the difference between Terrifier and those other icons I mentioned. Those other icons you can you know go see an R-rated cut in the theater whereas this one you kind of had to hunt for and because they decided to go unrated it's not going to attract the audience that those other franchises will. That's my opinion. So, I'm your host, Cinema Kane. I hope you enjoyed this review of Terrifier, and I'll see you next time at the video store. Cinema Kane, back at you to remind you to please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video if you enjoyed it on all your social media platforms, and I'll see you next time at the video store.